And then you went to New York, right? And then I traveled to New York. And did that change things for you? Everything. In what way? It was, a, it was, a, it was, it was my, it felt like it was all my choices. Like I left the big safe company where, you know, you had a big long contract. Um, I we were making no money, but um, I was in New York City, incredible space, incredible energy, incredible history. And I was dancing at a uh, really interesting company with an incredible choreographer, and I was doing exciting, innovative work. I was, uh, it was the best three years of my dance career. And how did that work? Did you get introductions, or did Michael turn up on the bus terminal at 7 o'clock in the morning from the all-night bus and went, okay, I'm going <laughs> to audition? Yep. Or did someone said, you know, you should meet so-and-so, you should meet so-and-so? Oh, uh, that, that and the other one. Both. Both? Yeah. Um, I was going to audition for two companies in New York City when I was there. I was going to audition for Paul Taylor, but I got lost on the subway and I never found it. <laughs> and then I had an audition for Elliot Feld and um, somebody, uh, Karen, uh, Karen Kane actually said to me, uh, oh my gosh, Elliot would love you if you auditioned for him. And so I went down and, and I auditioned and, and uh, he was like, y you want a job? And I was like, I would love a job, wow. and I was hired. So yeah, so it was a bit of both. Someone told me about this company, and there was this other company that I heard great things about, uh, but I, I, got, I got lost. It's easy to do there. And um, I ended up dancing with his company for three years. I met my wife there. And so that time in New York, Fed you as a dancer, or fed you as an artist, or fed you all of it, all of it. Okay, so I'm going to ask the Canada-U.S. question, and that can be a later subject. But I'm curious. So, from Saskatchewan to Toronto, then to New York, so you're going from old-style. We want to be white like Britain, Canada, with companies that ape European companies, and yeah. then you go to this wide-open place called New York. Yeah which is American. We are yeah. unable to produce that kind of energy, that kind of open-ended for whatever you think of the American mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. Was that important to you as opposed to the Canada wanted to be like Britain, all the rest of it? Yeah. Canada has always felt regional since that move. It always feels like... Um, and I don't mean like, I don't mean uh, like Canada in general. I mean the arts. Yep. I mean the, the industry of the arts. It's always felt regional after being in New York. And then, and then of course I was in Los Angeles for many years. And, you know, it's, it's not a joke when they say the best crews work in, in, in L.A. And I've worked with those crews. I'm like, these guys are the Berzhnikovs of their fields. And I go elsewhere and I'm like, I see the difference. It's a good crew. They're not as good as those L.A. crews. It's also where they build the spaceships and space stations is California too. I mean, there is the level of the level of expertise, but ambition to have that kind of expertise. Yeah.